Hey, what's up? My name is Mike File, and in less than 30 days, I will be on my way to Bimini Bahamas on my Wave Runner. And uh, we've been planning this. Well, actually, some of the guys have been planning this since before COVID. Um, I jumped on probably about six months ago, and I, this video is really just to show you the equipment that is involved with going over to Bimini, what's needed, what's recommended. Um, some of the stuff that we've collected as a group, there's going to be about 30 of us going on, on our wave runners and two uh, follow boats as well. So um, there'll be a large number of us going. Uh, we've all kind of pitched in to get some stuff that's needed as a group, but uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm bringing on my ski. Um, let, let me start off with the, the, the trailer itself. Um, I'm in Delaware. I'm driving from Delaware all the way down to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, long drive on, on my trailer. So um, I got an extra hub for for my wheels. Um, just in case something happens, I can change that out real quick um, and not have to get towed or anything. So um, tools go with that. Make sure um, if you are gonna bring an extra hub, make sure you have the tools to, to, to uh, change that hub. Um, I got a, a, a lug wrench, um, just, you know, just in case that, you know, my car lug wrench doesn't fit. This one specifically fits the trailer. I also am bringing, because it's a long trip, I'm also bringing my uh, grease gun. There's a grease gun in here uh, for the hubs. I want to grease it up before I go, obviously, but um, probably grease it up when I come back on my way back, just to make sure everything's good there. Um, so that's a trailer. Um, you know, obviously I'm, I'm a, just check your wheels, make sure your wheels are good. My trailer is only two years old, maybe three years old now. So my, my, my wheels are good. I got an extra, I got an extra uh, spare tire as well. Um, so that's good. Uh, for my, uh, stuff that I'm going to be on, on my person, uh, my radio, this is a standard Horizon HX870. The newer one is the HX890. Um, it's pretty similar. There's, I don't think there's that much of a difference. But this has the MMSI number for distress calls um, already programmed in. So um, I have that. I do have a, on, on all of us, all of us are carrying radios. All of us are carrying personal locator beacons which um, we found a company to, to rent them out and that's gonna arrive at my house um, a couple of days before I leave. So uh, so I will have that on my vest, um, the, the personal locator beacon, I'll have this on my vest as well. Hooked to this, because there's so many of us and we're probably gonna be talking as we're, as we're riding um, and I won't be able to hear uh, anyone if I just have the radio alone. Uh, there's a good bu guy, bunch of guys are getting uh, headsets. Um, this is the one I got. Th this is a um, Rugged Radios headset. And um, what, what, what I like about this, it's not waterproof. Um, I'm taking that chance. Uh, it, it is not waterproof, but they said if it, some water gets on, it's not going to be a big deal. Um, you know, I have a uh, Wave Runner uh, FX uh, cruiser HO so it's it's the biggest one it's pretty sturdy I, I don't plan on falling in but you know like I said I'm taking a chance um, obviously one end goes into the radio what I like about this one this I, I have this that can go into my phone and I can listen to music while I'm riding and I also can listen to the radio while I'm riding as well this is also ear protection too I, I ride with ear protection this this ear protection here in here as well um, so uh, if I'm not using this I'm going to be uh, putting some earplugs in uh, just because yeah you used to ride motorcycles I grew up in the 90s late 80s early 90s had a big stereo system on a car so I want to protect my ears now that I'm older so uh, I got I got this ear protection listen to music talk to talk to people that I'm riding with and then if I'm not using that, I got some protection there. So, uh, so, that, so I'm gonna have this on. Um, the other thing I'm gonna have strapped to my vest, obviously my personal locator beacon. 
I don't normally strap this to my vest, but because I'm crossing the Gulf Stream, I'm gonna be in the middle of the ocean, I wanna have my whistle strapped to my vest as well, just, just in case something happens. Um, but that's always on my ski. Uh, always, also on my ski is a uh, air horn as well. Um, so that's just gonna be in my ski. Um, I have, uh, have a knife. Obviously, you probably, should you probably should bring a knife just in case, you know, something gets clogged up uh, in your ski. You can, you know, uh, use that to take it out and um, for anything else. So that, if you're riding in the middle of the ocean, you probably should have a good pair of uh, glasses. I always ride with glasses. Um, these are these are Oakleys. I like these. It has a. Um, I got a I got a strap that floats. So these if they, these fall off, they'll float. Uh, I already lost a pair of Oakleys without a strap uh, last summer. So I learned my lesson. Got a strap that floats, and uh, especially if it's a bright sunny day out. Um, flashlight. I'm not gonna be riding at night, but just in case anything happens, I have a flashlight and I also have an extra pair of batteries for that as well. If anything happens to my ski and it needs to get towed, obviously I have to clamp down the hose. Um, these are hose clamps, so I can do that and I'll be able to be towed safely. I have a gator. But in my Gator, I have my uh, Garmin GPS. This is a um, Echo Plus uh, 44 CV. It has maps of the whole United States plus the Caribbean. So um, everything's already programmed in there. All the waypoints for where we're going. Um, I already did that ahead of time. So this is ready to go. Uh, Gator, just in case I need one. Uh, I have, uh, have riding gloves. Um, if you ride, we're going to be riding out in the ocean, so uh, we'll be, um, be riding for a couple hours straight. When we're there, we're going to be riding all day long. So, uh, the guys told me uh, riding gloves would help. Um, I also have a flare gun. Um, again, just in case I need it, um, that's ready to go. Uh, when you get into Bimini, uh, you have to have a quarantine flag and this is, um, which is a, a yellow flag. So this is my quarantine flag that I'll be flying once we get into Bimini, saying that we uh, we just arrived. We still need to go through customs and get cleared and all that stuff. So we definitely need that. Um, let's see. This is my. Uh, this is a really, this is a really nice bag. This is my dry bag, and this is what I'm going to be using to put on my clothes in for the, for the week that we'll, we'll be there. Um, I think this is a 40 liter bag. I got this actually for 20 bucks on, on Facebook Marketplace. So um, couldn't beat that. So it's, uh, it's got, it's like a full backpack. Um, so yes, yeah, so I got that in here already. I have, um, I have suntan lotion and also have bug spray cause they said the bugs are pretty bad over there. So. Um, that's already packed and I have, because we're going to the Bahamas, you can't forget your snorkel gear. So I got snorkel gear for the Bahamas for when we go to different places there. And then I have a, uh, a trauma kit in here. So again, just in case anything happens, we don't expect anything to happen, but just in case anything happens, we, we, we have this. In here, I have, I have a tourniquet. I have an Israeli bandage. I have, uh, um, was it, quick clot. I have a bunch of bandages, band-aids, um, gloves. I have, um, I have material to make a splint that um, that, that, so it's like a quick mold material that you can make a splint. Um, 
emergency blanket, all that, all that good stuff. What, just regular like first aid kind of stuff. But the main thing is, is, is I have a tourniquet, Israeli bandage, quick clot, and um, this material here that's uh, that you can you know mold to make a, a splint for your arm or leg or whatever. So, um, so I have that. The other thing is that um, that's pretty much all I have on, on my ski. I'll show you in a minute my um, my my reserve fuel tank and what it's strapped to. But there's other guys in our group that they're built um, they're, they're bringing tools for changing spark plugs, getting other stuff caught uh, that's, that's stuck it into your imp impeller um what else we got guys bringing um just other safety gear and things like that so we so me and another guy are, are bringing trauma kits some other guys are bringing tools some other guys are bringing some other stuff so um that's pretty much it that's what i'm that's that's what's going to be in my ski uh it's it it doesn't look a lot, but a lot of it's kind of stuff that I probably won't use, but I'm glad I, I have it and I'm glad I'm bringing it um, just to be on the safe side. But let me show you my setup on my ski uh, for the reserve fuel tank. All right, before I show you my tank, I just wanted to show you um, in my trunk here uh, a few things. Obviously, I have a paddle. I have my anchor right here. I have extra line here. I saw this on uh, the Facebook uh, Yamaha Wave Runner page. Some guy uh, did this to his ski and I thought it was pretty cool. So I, I copied him. So I got my bumpers and my bungee cords in here. So I um, bought this off of Amazon for like 10 bucks. Um, it's, it's Velcro and you put Velcro piece here, Velcro piece over there. Just stick it up there and uh, you're good to go. So I'm coming back, back to the back here. Uh, this is the setup. And actually, um, I don't know if you guys watched the ship's log, Frank, Captain Frank, uh, he's actually going with us. And he had a, had a video about this, this crate. I think he had like just regular bungees, but I did tie down straps. And I mean, this thing is, is not going anywhere so i'm actually going to be testing this out on friday me and my buddy are going to be riding um with the full tank of gas in here this is a six gallon marine gas can or gas tank and i got a siphon uh siphon hose right there so um like i said i will be testing this out on friday with with it with this tank filled up just to see how everything rides and uh, what else do I have? I think that's about it. I got a bunch of rope in here, a bunch of line, and a few bungees. That's about it. So. All right, as I'm wrapping up this video, just a couple of other things I wanted to point out. Uh, make sure you have all your documents that you need to get into the Bahamas. Make sure you have cash. I understand that cash is big over there. Um, some places accept credit cards, but not all places. So make sure you have plenty of cash to go over there, uh, especially for customs. Uh, make sure that uh, you have your passport, obviously, your COVID card. Uh, make sure you have tested negative for COVID at least 72 hours before you go over. That's the rules as of right now. And then it, right now it's, it's May 2022. So um, as of right now, they're asking whoever's coming into the country to, to have, get a, a negative COVID test 72 hours before you step onto their, their land. Um, so what else? I think that's about it. But uh, like and subscribe. And um, if you, if you want to see my whole journey, I am going to be documenting my whole journey from start to finish. Um, so, so please like and subscribe if that's something that you're interested in checking out in the future. 
And um, if I'm missing anything, or if you guys have any other ideas for me, please comment below. Uh, let me know what you think I'm missing. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you think the setup is good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.